Hi right, guys, uh, how are you all doing? This is our Mercedes-Benz E-Class W211 from 2003 to 2009. Um, what I really want to show you right now is just simply um, how to diagnose transmission related faults. Um, we have done another video on how to actually reset your manual transmission. You don't need any diagnostic tools or anything like that. However, if, you are, uh, if you've tried that procedure and you are still having trouble with your automatic transmission then it stands to reason that there will be a fault with it and generally that can be diagnosed with the uh, diagnostic tool. So uh, the tool we're using is the iCarsoft i980 which is great for diagnosing any faults. Um, in this particular vehicle we don't... how weird is that? There's an E-Class there. That's exactly what we're in. Right okay sorry. Um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah where was I? Yeah, we don't we don't think there are any uh, faults with this particular car. Uh, it seems to be driving fine. We've reset the transmission. Everything seems to be driving all right. But you just never know with the automatic transmission boxes. A lot of the times there are smaller faults which are um, laying on the ECU, which don't affect the driving of the car, but they are there all the same. Uh, if there was a problem with it, you would surely be getting a, a, a warning trouble light on the uh, a symbol on the dashboard. So uh, it's a W211 E class, it's a sedan, it's a diesel engine, it's a right hand steering and it's an E320. So uh, all of the tra uh, sort of different modules and systems that you can diagnose are all uh, shown here. We're interested in the transmission. Let's have a look. So we'll read fault memory. Right now we've got one of three as you can see there. So that's interesting. Uh, 0513. We've got uh, the CAN signal for start enable sent to the drive authorization system by transmission control is missing or valid. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, a bit of online checking and a bit of online reading up about this particular fault code uh, will tell us what that means. Uh, we've got D40C. Uh, quite a long one, that. And D40A, they seem to be pretty much the same. Now these could have, these faults could have been on the system for quite a while. So what you can actually do, and I'm going to attempt to do this here, is to uh, clear the fault memory. If the faults are genuine faults, they will come back, of course. Uh, it could just mean that they need to be cleared from the system. Right, do you really wish to erase fault memory? If you delete fault codes, stored events will also be deleted. Okay, so that's fine because if there is a genuine fault there that will just come back so clear trouble codes successfully so now it's a good idea to uh, maybe go back into fault memory and see if there are any faults now it they might not come back straight away to be honest with you uh, it's coming up there no DTCs but you never know a uh, drive down the line five minutes down the line uh, two days down the line these faults may come back if they are genuine so we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on it but uh, this is a surefire way of uh, sort of finding out about any transmission related faults. Um, I appreciate the, the, re the description that the kid gave doesn't exactly um, sort of tell you what the fault is or where the fault is straight away. Um, but as I say, go online, look on, look on forums, search into Google about what this fault means and no doubt there will be other people who have experienced these uh, these faults. These cars are very common, they're a very popular car, the E-Class, so you can guarantee somewhere somewhere along the line somebody else will have also had this fault, you will not be alone. Um, hopefully if you do have a fault it's not too much of a, um, a costly repair. However I would say though as I recommended earlier do the reset which we've got in our reset. Uh, well, one of our other videos tells you exactly how to reset the transmission on this car, and it's uh, it's the same for all other, um, well, most other Mercedes Benz as well. Uh, so I hope this video helps. The iCarsoft i980 kit is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. Or you can visit the website directly, which is www.diagnostic-world.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps.